Hello there, welcome to another video in this bank reconciliation tutorial for Zero accounting software. This is part three and the final part of this series. In the previous videos, I went through the bank feed and how that works in Zero. how we have this list of transactions to the left here. I covered match, create, transfer, discuss and what they do. Um, I spoke about suggestions from previous entries, make sure that's ticked, and bank rules. That's what I covered in the previous video. Bank rules, creating bank rules, deleting them, and how they work. Everything to this point has been very straightforward, I think, and it works very well. It's very efficient. If you have any questions, use the comment section below, and I will get back to you. Up until this point, I've assumed, or I've come from the point of view, that you have a bank feed set up on Zero Accounting Software. That's what I suggest you do. If you don't have a bank feed, then the next best thing is to import, upload your bank statements using like a CSV file. Once again, you have this to the left here, and you can use banking rules and things like that. If you're not using either of those things and you're being very traditional about bank transactions, such as entering them manually one by one, then reconciling the accounts is going to be a lot more complicated because what you're going to have to do is go to the account transactions here and look at the transactions, go through them. If any show is unreconciled and you want to reconcile them, you're going to have to click on them. Go to Options, click Mark as Reconciled. And that's how you reconcile transactions on Zero. Can you believe it? I did mention this at the beginning of the series, that the reconciliation process is not fantastic. Everything to this point has worked very efficiently, is fantastic. This is where things go downhill a bit is the actual reconciliation process. So you can see that transaction is now marked as reconciled. We can move on to this one. Okay, that shows in the statement that's correct. We click on it. We can go to mark as reconcile and reconcile that transaction. So you're going through them one by one manually to mark them as reconciled. Whereas when we reconcile through the bank feed, once we click okay, the transaction is not just posted for us, it's also marked as reconciled for us. Now, if you have marked things manually here, or if you've used the reconcile bank feed CSV file upload, you can still run a reconciliation report, which is here. If you're not on this screen, then under manage account, there is reconciliation report here. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you'll be taken to the same report. And what you'll do is run the report for the date of reconciliation. So let's say it's December 1st to the 31st December. You choose the bank account you want to reconcile and you put it in the end imbalance. So you put in the end imbalance, click update. Everything should then reconcile. If it doesn't reconcile, you need to look into that. So on this report, it shows some totals at the top here, such as the balance in zero, the end in balance. It shows any unreconciled transactions in that period and other information too. It's not the most clear reports and there isn't like this button we can click to click reconcile. It's not very clear like it is on QuickBooks Online or older versions of Sage accounting software. But this is what you've got, unfortunately. When everything reconciles, you can export the report and save it to whatever folder you need to save it to. But this is a huge disappointment, I think, um, when it comes to zero is the reconciliation process. But like I've already said, if you've got a bank feed connected, and you're doing everything through the bank feed, if you're not entering transactions manually, then you should never have a problem because everything should always reconcile and be up to date. If you are 
manually entering transactions if you don't have a bank feed if you're not importing with a csv file then the reconciliation process is not going to be as efficient for you and is going to be quite frustrating thank you so much for watching i really love responses to my videos they're all for free put something in the comment section below even if it's thanks to the video do it like the video subscribe it really helps and then feel free to check out my website, which is freebookkeepingaccounting.com.